I'm Thelma Schoonmaker, and I am Martin Scorsese's film editor. We've worked together on 20 features. Working on Wolf of Wall Street was tremendous fun because Scorsese realized right away that he had a group of actors who were brilliant at improvisation. So he made a very daring decision to let them run free to a certain extent as they were shooting, and great things came out of it. I love cutting improvisation because it's like putting a puzzle together. And that's what it's like working with uh, an improvised scene. You have to find a way to make that work dramatically as a scene. And I love doing that. The Departed was fun because it was so crazy and we had to restructure it a lot. We had some uh, structure problems with it, but that, that happens on a lot of films. It was pretty wild dealing with the improvisation of Jack Nicholson and, and Leo. Um, pretty scary scene for Leo because he had no idea what Jack was going to do in the scene in which Jack is accusing him of being a rat. He had no idea Jack was going to pull a gun. He had no idea Jack was going to burn the paper on the tabletop. Leo's first take is absolutely brilliant because he's genuinely reacting to things he had no idea were going to happen. Oh, well, working on Raging Bull was heaven. I mean, it was, everything was just pure gold about that movie. The direction, the camera work, the black and white, the fantastic improvisations and acting by the actors, the beautiful use of music, the stunning fight sequences which Marty had designed very carefully, almost cut to cut. When we first looked at it in a rough cut, just Marty and me, we came out and we said, who made that movie? That is, that is unbelievable. It was burned into the screen. And um, it was really my favorite film I've ever worked on. Well, Hugo was so special to us because really was the distillation of all the things that Scorsese has done for film, the history of film, and for other filmmakers throughout his life. At one point, Baz Luhrmann was about to shoot Great Gatsby in 3D, and he came into this editing room to see how we were dealing with it before he shot it. And I was telling him the story of Hugo, and I said it's a distillation of all that Marty's done for these great masters he reveres, and Marty said, oh, I didn't realize that. The Aviator was great fun. It was our first big visual effects film. We hadn't had many visual effects before that. Scorsese and Rob Legato, our visual effects supervisor, um, spent a lot of time with plain models and a little tiny lipstick camera designing the camera moves around the plane. Um, and so that resulted in fantastic, beautiful flying sequences, which I loved. The development of Howard Hughes' character was so interesting as he became more and more reclusive and locked away in that screening room. And one of my favorite things was Kate Blanchett begging him from the outside of the screening room to let her in. Everyone was so worried about him. She wanted to help him and he wouldn't let her in and it was one of the most beautiful takes I've ever seen. It was take one. And she was so carried away by what she was doing that at the end of it, she looked up, I remember, and sort of came back into the world. It was, I was there and I saw it, and uh, it was a wonderful moment. Gangs of New York was a fantastic film to work on because of the beautiful evocation of that time that Marty created. We had a vast set at Chinichita. We had built all of New York City almost at the time. We had a, just a wonderful time. I mean, Leo was just beginning with us. Daniel Day-Lewis was a phenomenon as Bill the Butcher. I still think of him as Bill the Butcher. And he stayed in the part all through the shoot. He, dressed like Bill the Butcher, even if you went out to dinner with him, he dressed like Bill the Butcher and he talked like Bill the Butcher. So he would call up when he wanted to look at dailies and say, hello, sweetheart, you want to go look at dailies like Bill the Butcher? It was wonderful. Looking at dailies with him was such a treat. The very first thing I ever edited was Martin Scorsese's Who's That Knocking at My Door, his first feature film. He had shot half of it when he was a student, and then those of us who met at NYU and then went on to make documentaries and other films in New York City 
uh, volunteered to help him finish it. And we were just racing around the city, everybody doing everything. Marty taught me everything I ever knew about editing on that film. How to build a scene between two actors, for example. When do you use a close-up? When do you use a medium shot? How long do you hold on one actor as opposed to the other? And that way you begin to build character and, and a dynamic relationship between the two actors. But the great thing was that he was teaching me truly classic filmmaking and that is about going for the truth all the time.